hello students welcome back to my channel in this video i am going to discuss in brief about the scale and sludge formation scale and sludge formation is the boiler trouble so one of the major use of water is production of the steam especially by the use of boilers so whenever the boiler is filled with hard water hard water means the hardness of the water is mainly due to the presence of calcium bicarbonate or magnesium bicarbonate calcium chloride or magnesium chloride calcium sulfate or magnesium sulfate so whenever these dissolved salts are present in the water it is responsible for the hardness whenever hard water is used in the boilers during the boiling process what happens these dissolved salts will slowly precipitate out and results in the formation of soft loose non sticky precipitate so during boiling process whenever a soft loose and non sticky precipitate is formed that is called as the sludge so it is sludge formed in the boiler so coming to the major causes of the sludge due to the presence of magnesium chloride calcium chloride or magnesium sulfate whenever high temperatures are reached these salts will precipitate out from the water so the presence of magnesium chloride calcium chloride and magnesium sulfate are mainly responsible for the sludge formation coming to the disadvantages of the sludge it causes wastage of the fuel the efficiency of the boiler will be reduced and also it disturbs the work then how to prevent sludge formation sludge formation can be avoided by using soft water instead of hard water or the sludge formed in the boiler can be removed time to time by blow down operation blow down operation means the removal of soft loose and non sticky precipitate formed in the boiler time to time that is at regular intervals of time then we can avoid sludge formation so moving to the scale scale means hard sticky precipitate formed in the inner walls of the boiler is called as the scale scale means the hard sticky precipitate formed in the inner walls of the boiler is called as the scale so it is a sticky precipitate it will stick on to the boiler walls with the result what happens it decreases the efficiency of the boiler sometimes it causes damage to the boiler it causes wastage of the fuel so let us see what are the major causes for the formation of scales scales can be formed due to the presence of calcium bicarbonate or calcium sulfate or magnesium chloride in the boiler feed water so whenever calcium bicarbonate is present at higher concentrations then during the boiling process the calcium bicarbonate will be precipitated out as the calcium carbonate and it is a hard scale that will stick on to the walls of the boiler in the similar way if calcium sulfate is present in the hard water at high temperatures this calcium sulfate will gets precipitated on the inner walls of the boiler in the similar way if the hard water contains magnesium chloride during boiling process it undergoes hydrolysis and results in the formation of magnesium hydroxide which is again a sticky precipitate responsible for the formation of scales on the inner walls of the boiler so coming to the removal of the scales scales can be removed depending upon the nature of the scale formed if the scale formed is soft that can be removed by using brush if the scale formed is brittle in nature that can be removed by giving thermal shocks if the scale formed is hard that can be removed by the use of chemicals so if the scale contains calcium 
carbonate that can be removed by treating with dilute HCl. If the scale formed contains calcium sulfate that can be removed by the treatment with EDTA solution. If the scale formed is loose then it can be removed by the blow down operations. And finally, coming to the prevention of scale formation. So, the scale formation can be prevented by using soft water instead of hard water. Or we can also use softening methods for the removal of hardness from the hard water. That can be done by following internal treatment of water or external treatment of water. In general, internal treatment of water can be done by following phosphate conditioning or carbonate conditioning. Coming to the external treatment of water, it can be done by following geolite method or ion exchange process. So, if we follow geolite method, the hardness will be removed up to 10 ppm. And by using ion exchange process, it is possible to reduce hardness up to 2 ppm. And hence, ion exchange process is the best technique used for boiler feed water. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.